Welcome to another episode of Biz Infotech. Today we have reached to the technical hub, rather we can say the technology hub of Konica Minolta, a company well known for their digital imaging processes, well known for the printers. But not to get amazed, this company has recently transformed themselves, as they say, from a manufacturing company to a customer-centric services company. Today we have with ourselves Mr. Balakrishnan, the EGM of Konica Minolta Business Solutions and of course the MD, Mr. Yuji Nakata. We will hear from them what has come across and what has made Konica Minolta to come across this kind of transformation. So to articulate the gossips around the industry, wanted to understand if Konica Minolta is planning to migrate from a manufacturing company to a service driven company. The answer is, I think, yes and no. Uh, it's true that the customers uh, are not satisfied with only machines. In the past, customers are looking for the product specification functionalities, but now customers are looking what to experience the benefit and the solution. So now we are transforming ourselves to the service provider or solution provider. I think I s we should use customer-centric companies. I want to understand what is the customer's pain and what is the customer's needs. Then we help solve those problems. This is our, our, our general policy to, for our transformation. So you recently launched the promising cloud-based education ERP named as Educo ERP. Is the solution only developed to address the educational sector or institutions rather? And what has been the research behind exploring specifically the educational sector? Yes, this is uh, uh, developed only focusing on the education sectors. But uh, the uniqueness of EDUCO is uh, the EDUCO can cater all kind of uh, education institute from a small school to universities. So uh, yes, we the product is focusing on education, but a very wide range of education institutes. So further, do you want to extend the solutions for other verticals of the market too? Yes, we have a plan to develop more particular solutions. I think education is our first priority, but now we are under developing the uh, solution for other particles. So wanted to understand on the investment planning. So what, does, what are the investments preliminary plan for the solution to sneak the market? Yeah, uh, we have already have a dedicated salesperson and marketing staff and the support team for uh, education verticals, uh, and we are planning to develop or uh, expand those businesses. So, what will be the market strategies to cater the solutions and offer into the market? Mm. Awesome. Uh, as you said, the primary advantage of Educo ERP is. It caters to the entire spectrum of educational institutions, be it a school, a college, or even a vocational training institute, or even if tomorrow you want to run specialized courses for about 100, 150 students. So being that, our objective was to make it available on the cloud so that it's accessible by all. And uh, we already have, uh, as he said, people on the ground from education vertical background. We would be partnering uh, both uh, solution providers in the education space to reach it to our customer, to reach to the target segment, and also we would be directly operating on certain specific accounts. So the objective is to reach as many people as possible through the digital space and uh, make it available to the maximum, and at least up to tier two cities. So to be more specific, if I want to understand, what will be the USP of the product? See, USP of the product first and foremost is the user experience. Um, this product was developed after years of research into the stakeholders, various stakeholders and their expectations and their experience with other existing products in the market and their experience. And also understanding the fact that in India, uh, your data connectivity is not the same as it would be in a developed economy. So you needed to have a very light product, which is not heavy, which can uh, be accessed across medium, even at uh, 
not optimal data transfer rates. As you know, we have large parts of India which still is not too well connected. So those aspects have been well addressed in developing this particular product. So wherever you are, you would be able to access, conduct your business with uh, minimal effort. Do standard decryption and encryption has removed the skeptics of cloud computing used in the ERP systems, but still there are words coming around with the security concern with the Indian market mindset. So what you will speak upon your product as like being the security provident or something with that? Um, see, security is a concern that will continue to exist um, at all times. Uh, as you keep finding more and more secure solutions, you would find others equally working hard to find a breach. Um, so that is a continuous process. At no point of time, any solution anywhere in the world can say it has reached. Our endeavor is to give it in, as of today, this has been certified as one of the most secure solutions available. And that is something that we continue to work on. And all these are hosted on Amazon service, which has the highest levels of uh, secure currently available in the world. What I reckon is the educational sector is at an oblivion ground on apprehending the services technology. Will Educo ERP aim to act as a mentor to in this sector and or just leverage cutting edge or just leverage cutting edge solutions? Because this is what we have predicted is a billion dollar sector. So how you want to come forward for this uh, whole scenario? Uh, okay, should I? Yes. See, uh, Educo ERP will um, be different from other solutions on two, three aspects. One I said is primarily the user experience across all stakeholders. And uh, second is it will be a disruptive force in a place where the cost of acquiring a solution has been breached. Today the technology adoption rate by schools has primarily been dictated by the ability of them to raise funds to meet the requirement. Now the more and more an expensive a solution gets, the more the lesser and lesser becomes the adoption rate. So what we have done with a cloud based solution is you don't require a dedicated staff to maintain it. You don't have no infrastructure investments. You only pay a user fee now for on an annual basis. And it doesn't matter, depending, it's, it's only on the number of uh, what you call uh, functionalities that you choose would decide how much you're going to pay for it. So it's going to be very different in that sense. It's going to help schools and colleges and institutions adopt technology because the cost of adoption has been drastically cut down. Plus the investments they need to make on sustaining an infrastructure has been totally removed. Yes, you are right. This can be a very large market uh, because more and more uh, people would like to have automated processes and uh, have information access at any given point of time and that would make the difference through this year. Of course, a common retaliated question is coming from the tech industry and tech B2B guys like us. Again, want to understand who will be your competitors and how you are standing front as being a market provider in this sector. See, uh, you know this industry. It's yes. highly today fragmented. You have a lot of small players uh, operating. Uh, if I have done programming in my college, I come out and one of the first things I would like to do is walk up to my school and say, look, can I build an ERP for you? Or can I build a school management system for you? So it's a highly fragmented uh, market. What we have done is uh, to give you a global standard to it and uh, make it uh, accessible to all. So which would be a great differentiator because when you put a Konigam Alta name to it, along with it comes a certain assurance of global standards. And that is something which our customers are going to enjoy over uh, the various competitors that we have. So, uh, any plans to get alongside the digital crony government to disrupt 
the much necessary educational work, sy work systems of, co of course we have right now a manual procedure systems and the mentality has to be changed to automate the educational sector specifically so are you planning to get alongside with the government to do some specific projects on to it education already uh, government already has some projects in automating uh, the education segment uh, some to do with content some to do with governance and third primarily to do with more of um, compliance uh, we can it, the ERP allows you to play a very uh, uh, clear role as far as the governance is concerned uh, it fits into that space very well and we will be happy to partner the government and uh, support them in their endeavor on this so lastly I just wanted to understand how do you foresee the educational ERP market growing in this country and what will be Konica Minolta's role in the coming years for this sector? Yes, we believe the uh, education segment industry will growing and uh, uh, we, there, we have uh, two reasons to go to this market. First reason is uh, from a uh, commercial point of view, the education uh, particle in this country is very huge so we have a, a big opportunity to uh, leverage this trend. And the second reason is related to the uh, corporate vision of Konica Minorita. Konica Minorita want to be the company who is vital to the society. And education is the uh, biggest driver to drive the country. So Konica Minorita want to support the uh, growth of this country. So education is a very good opportunity for us to do so. So we are very uh, confident to uh, support education vertical in this country. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you.